So we have a limit to compute as x approaches infinity. Before we start, this is what 2 to the x looks like. The limit of this function as x approaches infinity is infinity, and as x approaches negative infinity is 0. So what that means is that the first terms approach infinity and the second terms approach 0, which sort of gives us a, the hunch that, well, if these spaces are so small, then we can really ignore them and, and then we're and then we're just left with a 1. But hunches are not enough, so we're actually going to rigorously prove that. When we feel like this one is insignificant, what we usually do is factor out what matters. Let us rewrite 2 to the negative x as 1 over 2 to the x. And so this is big, this is small. So we're going to factor out 2 to the x. Then, as always, when we factor out what really matters, the first term in the parentheses is 1. For the second term, well, the multiplication backward should work, so we're going to need an extra 2 to the x in the denominator to knock out 1 when we multiply back to get back the 1 over 2 to the x. And now we can cancel out 2 to the x. So the limit as x approaches infinity is now, instead of significant insignificant, we can just, we can rigorously argue that this piece approaches 0, this piece approaches 0, as x approaches infinity, so the larger x is, the closer this quotient is to the number 1, which is the limit. Okay, well that was the easy part. Now for the fun. Okay, it's the same expression, but now as x approaches negative infinity. So if you think about x as a large negative number, say x is, say x is negative 100, then we have something like 2 to the negative 100, plus 2 to the opposite of negative 100 over the same thing, only the sign is different. Okay, so what's going on here? Now there is a minus stored inside of x. So this is negative, and now this is positive. If we rewrite 2 to the negative 100 as 1 over 2 to the 100, then we see that at this point, these, these two are big, and this is very, very close to 0, right? Because x is negative, the opposite of x is positive. So this is 2 to a large positive number. This is 2 to a large negative number, very, very close to 0 at the other end of this graph. So now what do we do? Basically, we can do the same thing. This matters, this doesn't. So what matters, we have to factor out. Rewrite 2 to the negative x as 1 over 2 to the x. So now this is the big guy, right? And this is the small guy. So we're going to factor out the large quantity. So we get limit as x approaches negative infinity of 1 over 2 to the x. And now the multiplication backward should work. So the second pieces are the easy ones, right? That those, those are just 1. And here, 1 over 2 to the x, after multiplication, we should get back 2 to the x. So again, it's 2 to the x times 2 to the x. That's one way. And now we have cancellation. So what we have is the limit as x approaches negative infinity of 4 to the x plus 1 divided by 4 to the x minus 1. Remember, x is a large negative number, so these two pieces now approach 0, which means that our limit is negative 1. The greater x is, the closer this quotient is to negative 1. Now, this mattered with the negative exponent because of this other negative sign so it's almost like a double negative so there is a way to get around this in case we find it confusing so let me show you another way to solve this and this is kind of typical to calculus this method that we're going to introduce a new variable that is more suitable for our purposes so let's say that we're going to say let y be negative x and then of course x is negative y so that means that everywhere where we see x, we're going to write negative y. And as x approaches negative infinity, well, x is negative y, so negative y approaches negative infinity. That is the same as y approaches infinity. So then what we have is the limit as y approaches plus infinity, x is negative y. So we have 2 to the negative y plus 2 to the y divided by 2 to the negative y minus 2 to the y. And now you see we sort of got rid of the double negative. Now what looks positive is positive and this is the big part, this is the small part. 
So we're going to rearrange it a little bit. So now we're going to factor out what matters. From here it's the same. We already have solved this problem. So again, we factor out what matters. And then we have cancellation. So we have the limit as y approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over 4 to the y divided by 1 minus 1 over 4 to the y. As y approaches infinity, 1 over 4 to the y approaches 0. So we got our limit to be negative 1. Thank you for watching.